Hi, I'm Rebecca Staley, and I'm part of the Acrobat team here at Adobe. Today, I'm really excited to share with you some new enhancements to Adobe Reader that make it easy to get documents signed electronically no matter where you are. First, let's start by taking a look at what's new for smartphones and tablets. All right, so imagine someone has sent us a document that needs to be signed. We've only got our tablet with us, but what we can do is open up that contract on our tablet. When the document opens, we can see that this is a fillable form. All these fields are active. When we scroll down to the bottom of the form, we see a signature field. However, it is not an active fillable field, and we can't activate it to type in any information. What we'll do instead is open up our commenting toolbar. And from these options, choose the ink signature tool all the way over on the right. Now all we need to do is tap the form where we want to apply our signature, and then use our finger to sign our name in the box. Click Save, and there's the signature on the form. If we select that object again, we can move the signature to the precise place we want it and make certain formatting changes. For example, we can change the thickness of the line. We can make it very heavy. We can select again to make it a different color, let's say red. And then we can take down the opacity if that's the kind of change that you need to make to your signature on a form. Now, if this were a form that we were sending out to be signed by someone else, what we could do is close the commenting toolbar and instead open the Open In dialog. The third option on this particular list is Send for Signature. What that does is upload the document to EchoSign and allows you to use this document in your typical EchoSign workflow to obtain legal electronic signatures. To try out these new features for yourself, just head on over to Google Play or the iOS App Store and download the free Adobe Reader app today. Now that we've seen what's possible with Adobe Reader for mobile devices, let's go see what the e-signature capabilities are in the new Adobe Reader for desktop. Now we're in Adobe Reader on our laptop, looking at the same contract we just saw on our tablet. In the upper right of the Adobe Reader window, there's a pane called Sign. We'll open that up. When we click Place Signature, we'll have a few options in the resulting dialog box. We can type our signature, draw it in, or place an image of our signature on the form. Let's just type it in. As we start typing, we'll see a preview appear below. The signature resembles handwriting. We can change that style if we like, but let's stick with the original. Now we simply place the signature on the form. We can also choose the Add Text tool to type in the date or other information. When we click Send to Sign Document, we'll be asked to verify that we want to make our signature an indelible part of the document. Then we will save our newly signed form. Now we just have to upload the document to EchoSign, where the signed document will be stored in our account. When it's uploaded, we'll be asked to enter our email address. The recipient's preferred method of contact, he'll either receive the form through email or fax. And we can write a note to that recipient. Agree to the terms, click Deliver, and your signed form has been securely sent with EchoSign and Adobe Reader. Download this latest version of Adobe Reader at get.adobe.com forward slash reader. Thanks for watching.